What's up guys? We are back. I am actually doing a new mod by the, you can tell by the thumbnail of this video. I am doing some engine mount it's from PPE. They graciously sent me some, so I'm excited to put them on. They are, these ones are the green ones, which their OEM firmness is what they say. So it's 9 45 p.m and i have to wake up early and i want to get this done and so i don't do this on sunday because tomorrow i'm busy but here's the green ones let's get these out of the package so here they are in all their glory so we're gonna take them apart and here's the green ones and then i also got sent the blue ones so they're these are supposedly softer um and i talked to ppe's technical peoples and they said for my application green's probably the best even though i wish the blue because it matches everything else i'm doing but whatever it's just a little slight color there anyways and change um i did my wife's motor mounts on her 5.3 yukon and they sucked so I'm expecting that, but everyone says they're a lot easier because what happens is the the gasser ones um, have that heat shield, which is super annoying, and the diesels do not. So it comes, all it comes with is the mounts, the bushings, the bolts in there, and then it comes with new hardware. So you can put it on, but also comes with your instructions. So if you want to stop and read like I always show you. yeah that's it and then on the back just your kind of liability warranty kind of dealios so i'm not excited because there's possibilities the stock bolts will break and yeah we'll see hopefully get it the reason why i'm doing this too is my motor does rock a little bit it's not as bad as other people's videos i've seen on youtube it's like the whole thing just wants to like rock out of the freaking truck it's nuts mine's not that bad but it's starting to do it slowly and also too they also say to change when you change your or if you change your transmission mount like i did in my other one with the synergy one you should change your the motor mounts too because it will do so can break some because these are really loose and then that one in the back is just like it's hard and it's holding it and so it kind of like wants to, to like mess something up or break something so it's always good to change both of them at the same time which i did and i didn't have money and blah blah and stuff but let's get this going so first thing we're gonna do is my liner another thing too is i only found two really two good videos on the duramax um engine mounts so i was like the truck master one and then the other guy i can't remember his name like bone crusher or something like that so I'm kind of excited to do this because this will be the third one I, I will see because I don't see anyone else that has them on. So I'm going to try to do both sides on the video because other, other people don't really show the passenger side, which I think it's a lot easier. But so there's the, the mount right there. So hopefully it's a lot easier. This is going to suck. I don't want to take any of the stuff off in my rock lights. So yeah, let's get to it. So we got the wheel off so that's first step now i gotta take the wheel liner off and then we got it mounted uh using a piece of block of wood it's on the bell housing right there on the corner so it's not all the way jacked up i just kind of got up there so it's just kind of like there it's not pushing anything up so i'm gonna push that up here once we get to it and take off the clips and stuff and then we'll be able to get there but we're gonna take off the steering linkage so, or yeah, whatever. So we kind of ran into a, ooh, that's not good kind of deal. So my uh, liner is rubbing on my intercooler tube, which, ooh, it's pretty, I don't know. It's not a hole yet, maybe, I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I need to, maybe I'll buy another one, but I need to form my, cause I've seen um, people form the liner to it around it out with a uh, little like a flame torch kind of like melts it kind of bend it around so now what we're gonna do is get the tube off with the 11 millimeter 
there and then we'll go up top and loosen out and take that out and i remember that was a huge pain to get on but yeah i don't want to put it back on now anyways we're gonna do the driver's side because it's supposedly a lot harder than the passenger side which passenger side i've seen a couple videos and it's not that doesn't look too terrible but we'll see so take the intercooler tub off now next so we got the um, the steering shaft thing out of the way I, it's just a 15 I, you pull this thing up a little bit the shaft up goes that way and you can move that out of the way so it gives you a little more room so there's those three 15 millimeter bolts you know remove first lift up the engine a little bit then you can do the, the actual ones against the motor seems a lot easier than the gasser ones they suck <laughs> so worst case scenario happened twice literally broke two bolts son of a beach but so after going online real quick and reading which i should have done i did it a little bit on this top one i heated up with propane tank i heated it up good for about a minute and watch out for that wire limb right there heated it up good for a minute then i started going at it and then i was like oh it's coming out and then it started slowing down i'm like oh crap so i Heated it up again for another 30 seconds and boom, came out clean. Cause on these bolts, red Loctites, it's hot. So you can kind of see me steaming, but yeah. And they freaking broke right there. Oh my gosh, dude. So I got a little bit of time to go about, heat these up and then you'll be able to get out and you'll learn from me. And now I'm gonna take the other ones out. Maybe I can take off the actual mounting bracket that the mounts are on. It's hot. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, put that on there. But yeah, so heat it up a little bit with the propane tank for at least a minute and then it should come out clean. But yeah, so we got the lot. Now we're gonna lift the motor mount out and I'm hoping I can get those broken bolts out. Wish me luck. Well, I got the motor mounts. They are really easy. Literally you can take a wrench if you really needed to and get these out, super nice. But I bought this, my DeWalt ratchet, especially for this job. Because I did my wife's Yukon and doing it all by hand, my ratchet. Wow, it was awful. Like, no joke. It was a pain. And so I've gotten, and they're not, they don't have any Loctite on it or anything like that. They're just super small. So you got those, I got those two out on this side. And I got the top one out on this side. I ain't gonna do the back one on that. So I got three of them out and they came out easy. But yeah, my motor mount was uh, was ripped. It is separated from the top. So I'm kind of glad I got them doing this, but uh, I just can't believe I freaking broke those two bolts. It sucks. So I got the other one, this one out, but so on this and catches, so be careful when you are lifting this because and you're watching up on top of the motor because you can break something or catch something they say also too to loosen your transmission um mount too which i didn't do i kept i just remembered but here it is it's torn apart it's uh pretty beat up but so i actually just pulled it out of here just like that i removed the trans the steering linkage out of the way Pulled it out this way kind of kept playing with it and then finally this thing came off because so i'm literally in the middle of it i was like oh i guess i should show this so i got it out but see it's it's kind of annoying because i was just like oh, i'm gonna rip this off but it, then i was like why is it not coming apart because it's attached right here so that's the old mount it's out now and then also too there's this little bracket You can take out it's two 18 millimeter bolts and that's actually what the the bolts were connected to so if you break them you can take them out so there's a two i broke i'm gonna heat them up and take a bias grip out and so i was freaking out because i'm like i have to be somewhere tomorrow and i don't want to be here till four and have to wake up and whatever and still have broken bolts but Heat these babies up and get these out and then we'll start um putting it back in 
focus. I'm shaking. But yeah, be careful. Be careful. Okay, so I got that one out. That was amazing. I'm glad these things come out because, yeah, if those freaking bolts break, you're screwed and that would be a pain. Which, yeah, so now I understand why people are like, oh, it's not a big deal. I'm like, it's a big deal to me because I don't know how to do it, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, if you can get this piece out, I torched that thing and easily it came out like butter, basically super nice. So now we're on to the putting the PPE one in. And so these are the um, sockets you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a 18, a 17 and a 13. So 13s are then gonna be all the new hardware that mounts it to the chassis and the motor. So 13s and then these are the 17, 18s are right here on the sides. So they're gonna take it all apart and I mean, we don't have to, but it's a lot easier to put, take it apart. And I'm gonna take it apart on the first side, on the driver's side. If it's not, I'm gonna put it in complete like this into the passenger side. So we're good. So now I'm like excited. So now it should be a little bit easier. I got all the bolts hand tied it up there. So now I'm gonna get them all. I think it's supposed to be like 46 pounds. But tie those up and then I'm gonna get the actual mount on the bottom. And then we can put everything back together, hopefully. We got her in, 13 millimeter bolts. Use my ratchet and my little small one. That way I didn't get too crazy and go cross threading things, but it's all in. So, went through here, went through underneath there and there, the oil filter, re-tightened a little mount where that thing got whatever the bolt got <clears throat> broken so that was nice so it's all done everything's complete there's no more broken bolts or anything um make sure you get some led lights it helps a lot and now let's go into the passenger side so we're on the passenger side and i run into that a dumb freaking heat shield which it's a lot better on like on the um, this diesel because I can I have my now I have my ratcheting whatever drill and uh, and there's a lot more space too so yeah hopefully kind of sucks because they're right there and but they say the passenger side's easier but I did not know and from no one's really showed me on the videos but I didn't think that there was a heat shield on here so I guess we'll see what happens. So I got it cranked up a little bit and all I did was slide it through here and then out. It's it's heavy, I'm tired. It's like three o'clock in the morning and it's just taking me so long because I had to reroute out my, my uh, rock lights. So that's why it's taking me so long. But yeah, almost done. As we got her in, I don't, I don't you, can, you can't really see it from that angle, but right there. So she's in, she, this side, once you get the actual um, stock motor mounts out, it's really not that bad. This side is not. So yeah, other than that, I mean, it went pretty smooth after that. After you figure it out, it's not that bad, but it still takes a while. I took about, for me, the only reason it took me six hours is because I had to wire, rewire how I wanted these lights and getting new fender liner um what's called push button thingies the little trees and um be before and after it's night and day difference at first i was like oh man it's kind of freaking rough but the most you can you can really tell when you start it and turn it off because it's like boom but when you first start it's like it's hard to explain but it just feels more stiffer but i definitely recommend checking your guys' driver's side even because mine mine didn't rock that bad it wasn't it was just like a little bit so i was like oh i gotta probably do that and like i said about the transmission mount and stuff but my driver's side was completely torn the passenger side was still together it was just old and worn and it hasn't been placed since it came out of factory so the driver's side though was yeah so my tips are heat up the bolts it will save you so much time so that's the reason why the passenger side didn't take me so long because i didn't have to take those broken bolts out 
So, and I need to clean up that and or just getting a new intercooler or tube because mine's running. But I'll definitely put down a link below to grab it and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.